chosen this day to confirm their commitment to each other both publicly and legally. Because it's long been the tradition in many parts of the world for the bride to be given in marriage. And Ivan is here today to signify in public his happiness with Phoebe's decision to spend the night with Martin and to welcome Martin into the family. Do you take Phoebe to be your wife? Do you <coughs> promise to love her, comfort her, honour and protect her now and forever? But Phoebe, do you take Martin to be your husband? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honour and protect him now and forever? I do. Your love and respect for each other has today been shared with your family and friends and it now gives me the greatest of pleasure to announce that you are husband and wife.
feeling nervous, apprehensive, maybe a bit queasy, at the thought of what lies in bed, it's probably Phoebe because you've just married Marvin. <laughs> but before we start the customary character assassination of the groom, I think we all agree that Phoebe looks absolutely stunning today. As the bridesmaids and the, both the parents of the bride's groom. Uh, Martin, we think you've actually done extremely well there. You found someone who's beautiful, clever, charming, funny, loving and caring. And Phoebe, well, you've got Martin. <laughs> Who said marriage has to be a partnership of the <laughs> Finally, can say thank you for coming today and share a very special occasion to share the love of Martin and Phoebe to have amazing how far it will, will travel for a free meal. <laughs> One thing I will say about Phoebe that is she, that she's actually a very good sense of humour and she has proved that today by marrying Martin. <laughs> Being Martin's brother, I can tell you how annoying he is and Phoebe, you are very soon to find this out. If you haven't already, I joke. I couldn't ask for a better brother. If, if, more like the best friend, so make sure you look after him. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and anyone else who's in the room. Oh, I would like to uh, begin by welcoming you all here and thanking you all for coming. And I would also like to thank everybody who has um, helped to, to the lead up to the wedding in helping get everything ready and be it big or small, to make this special, a special day. And to absent people who are here, um, Phoebe's nan, and uh, anyone else who's not with us anymore. So, absent friends, yes, definitely. Yeah. On advice, or should I say orders for my daughter, was to stand up, speak up, and quickly shut up. And definitely no jokes. Apparently she doesn't like my funny jokes. Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding and raise your glasses to the new bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. Davenport, Phoebe and Martin. Muddle it up, but there you go, I got there eventually. All the best to the pair yeah. thank you very much. Right, ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like to hand you over to the groom. Thank you again for coming. Nice to see you all. I would like to start by saying a big thank you for all making an effort for coming here today. Oh, Me and Phoebe really appreciate it. May I say that you all look lovely tonight. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to our bridesmaids, Gemma, Sophie, Amelia, and also our page boy, Bradley. <laughs> and the best known Dexter and Dangerous, we couldn't have done it without your help and support. Talking about support, me and Phoebe would like to thank our parents for putting up with us, helping out with the wedding. <laughs> thank you to Lynn for making a gorgeous and beautiful cake. Anyway. And thank you to Jess for capturing and picturing and videoing the videos <laughs> of our special day. And the photographer as well. And thank you to mum and also Phoebe's mum for helping and your support as well. Now it's time to mention my wife Phoebe. I'm so proud to be standing here beside you today and uh, <laughs> you made me such a proud man and I love you. So can everyone raise their glasses to my beautiful wife Phoebe. Love you baby. 